like this. I, I get a chance to talk with a lot of men also. And let me say it like this. There's a lot of messed up men. <laughs> yeah. And it's, you know, and, and, and let, let me, a caveat is it's not their fault. No, no, no. There's generational curses. There, mm -hmm. There's failed relationships. There's, there's mental instability. There's insecurities. All of these things. Dysfunction. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, not seeing what love really looks like in a household. And yes, and they, and, you know, and they feed on stupidity. I just talked to a man the other day. He was like, I'm dating this girl. I've had five dates with her. Only thing that was wrong with her, she's got a little stomach. And I was like, and so does you. Well, it's, that's different. No, it ain't different. It's not different. You know what? How, how, well, how are you going to judge her on a different standard than the one you have for yourself? Mm -hmm. And so realize that men are dealing with a lot of stuff also. Mm -hmm. And you need a mental, physical, spiritual, and emotional healthy man. A healthy man. And if you don't, he's going to disrupt your mentality, your emotions, your spirituality, and your physical well-being. Yeah. I have an old lady down the street. She's 86 years old. And she told me years ago, and her husband not, now has passed, and said, this lady looked at her and said, you got a good husband. And she said she got an attitude about it. She was like, she, you don't know my husband. She said, I don't know your husband, but I know he's a good man because you're not stressed out. You're, 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 you're still gorgeous. Yeah. And if you see this lady, she probably looked like she's a probably, what, 70? Yeah. Probably 70 years old. Mm -hmm. And she attributed to the fact that her husband didn't stress her out because he was a good man. And God yeah. is working on that man for you. Yeah. Just like God is doing something inside of each and every one of you now, whatever that is, he's pruning, he's shaping, he's talking to you. And even though it doesn't feel like it, he's working in the background on you as well as working to make that man that he's going to bring to you someday, making to make him a better person, a godly person, working on those shortcomings that he had that you don't even know about that may not show up because when you date a guy, all you see is a representative. You don't never see the real deal. It's just the ambassador. That's the representative. So give God a chance to grow that man and shape that person for who he needs him to be for you, as well as you're waiting and letting God chisel at you, shape you and mold you into that wife ready woman that God is calling you to be. And if he walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, he must be a duck. You, you know, it, you know I, I don't care about his biceps. I don't care about his triceps. I don't care about his new hot, his big new house, his new car. If he's, if he's not where he needs to be spiritually, he can't be the man that he can be for you spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or physically. He can't be. Yeah, you know, and, and you know, like I said, he may have all of the exterior stuff, but if he don't have the in interior stuff, he's still not the right man. And God can make him the right man, mm -hmm. but you can't. Mm 